I'm in Lifecycle Services and I'm in the Shared Asset Library here. I've selected the Power BI report model. So let's have a look at the production performance report model here. So I'm going to click on it to download it. And I'm going to save it into a folder I created. And I'll just call that Power BI. So in this case, I'm prefixing it um, just so I can find them easier in my environment. Um, I've got lots of um, report models, so I'm just prefixing it so we can differentiate this. So I'm just going to say it's OG perf uh, production performance. I'm not going to save that. Now, um, I did an earlier post series on how to set up the infrastructure. This is a demo VM and how to set up the gateway and um, the configuration to actually use these report packs. So the assumption in this is that you've done that setup. Um, I'll link to it in the post as well. So I'm going to open up the production performance PBIX file um, in Power BI Desktop. So this uses direct query so I'm going to hit uh, validate on that. I'm going to let the query refresh here. All right, we'll see that it's got blank data. Um, that's because we haven't actually published the measure. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to change the data source. You'll see that it's set to local host. And you'll see in my other uh, post about the setup here. So I'm going to match this to the machine name. In this case, demo machine. So it's demo one. So I'm going to say OK. And we'll hit close. That's going to ask me to apply, so I'm going to do that. So while that's refreshing, I'm going to go up to my application. So we're just going to log in here. All right, so now I'm going to go down to the uh, system administration, and then we're going to find the entity store. And again, each one of these report packs has a different measure. So in this particular case, we want to find the production cube, um, and that way we can hit refresh and we can say OK, and it's going to go ahead and refresh. So I'm going to pause the video. This will take a little moment to refresh, maybe about two minutes on the demo machine. So I'll pause the video while it refreshes. OK, so our data's refreshed, and I've just hit refreshed in Power BI Desktop, so I've got data here. So I'm going to go ahead and publish this to my workspace. So I'll let the workspace come up, and then I'll publish it to my workspace, and we'll let it publish. Now I've got multiple gateways in my environment, so this is my v2 one, so I'm saying yes and then it's um, successfully published. So that means I can go to my application. Now what we'll see is we've got, for example, um, production floor um, management, for example. Now if we open this up and we have a look at the options, we'll see open report catalog. Um, but for some reason, the production one will give me an error if I try to link in here for the Power BI, I get an error um, that I can't. So I'm going to link this one over onto uh, another workspace. So in this particular case, I'm going to say product readiness for uh, discrete manufacturing, for example. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to open up my report catalog and I'm going to authorize my Power BI. So that's authorized. And so let's try that again. So product readiness for discrete and we'll open our report catalog. Now I have a lot of models in my environment, a lot of workspaces. So I'm going to pause the video while I find the report. All right, so here's my report, OG production performance. I'm going to say OK. And that's going to add a link in here. So therefore, we have our Power BI reports. So I'm going to hit production performance report, and then we're going to see the content. So essentially, this is looking at production orders. So I can see basically total 
date of production and then I can see their status for example so I can see total orders on time and complete early for example as an indicator I can see some basic details on product defects in terms of reported as error um, across production so I could look at down to specific items to see if there's uh, trends or issues so I can use for example the time analysis um, and then this will play the um, defects over time which is kind of a nice little visual I can see the defects by resource so this will give me an idea of where are we getting um, issues based on specific products so like if it's a specific product but is it always happening at a specific step in the production process then I can see that by resource for example um, so I can see the same um, as a trend by resource over time this might be handy if we've changed a process we could see is it a time change for example and then I can see some production variances from a, a cost perspective um, and see where we've got some variances so that's a quick overview of what you're going to find in the production performance um, report pack so it's a good starting point if you want to do some analysis on production that's what you're going to find in the standard one out of the box